Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today I want to talk a little bit about Fallout Cooperative Play. Now this is something that a lot of people are talking about recently and I just thought I would give my input in why I think a Fallout co-op game is actually not a bad addition to the Fallout series. Now a lot of you guys obviously do have your own opinions and this is just mine and I will give off a couple of good points to why Fallout Cooperative Play would actually work. But if you do disagree with anything I do say, please feel free to say in the comment section if I believe there is something that I is worth replying to or you just didn't really understand what I was saying, then feel free to say it. I will do my best to reply to those questions I believe need replying to. But anyway, let's move on to why I believe Fallout Co-op would actually not be a bad idea. So the first thing I wanted to bring up is the lore of the game. Now, when I made my Fallout Online video, a lot of you guys were stressing that the lore of Fallout would be absolutely ruined. And to be honest, guys, after watching or reading all of your comments, I actually thought to myself, wow, it really would. Because, of course, as you all know, multiplayer would consist in large amounts of people being spread all over the wasteland and yeah that just would not work in a fallout game maybe if you were a group of raiders similar to i don't know i guess negan from the walking dead and his bunch of guys that would work if we had a raider build or something like that but genuinely it wouldn't work for everybody now when we're given when we're put into fallout we're given this desolate map in which we're meant to feel alone for periods of time and eventually we will see an animal we'll see another person but eventually it will come back to us that we are in fact a lone wanderer and yeah if we see a bunch of guys twerking next to a deathclaw that just would not cut it for me and especially for all of you hardcore fans out there you know it just would not work and I would not like to see that at all but then again if we did have a Fallout Online game, I would just love to sit on a mountain and just snipe at people all day. That would just be absolutely amazing. But anyway, yeah, multiplayer just would not work. But beside from the multiplayer, we have the much more reasonable choice, which is cooperative play. Now, we have seen co-op work before in these type of games. A group of modders actually were able to create a Skyrim co-op mod in which was pretty decent. Now, personally, I haven't played it, but from all of the people who did and for those videos that I saw of it, it was pretty decent. It worked, and that was the main thing. Now, even in recent news, we have the Nevump or New Vegas multiplayer mod. Now, that group of people, to my knowledge, are actually able to make their game co-op rather than multiplayer, so they can easily easily just switch it over to cooperative play anytime they want and again that is pretty awesome. Now before we get into the pros of this situation we really do need to think of the slight cons that cooperative play would possess in a Fallout co-op game and that is co-op restraints such as would we need to stay a certain distance to the host of that game. Now one example of this ridiculous restriction is Far Cry and its co-op mode. Now firstly I would like to say that I do enjoy the Far Cry games. It is a great game but there is one huge mistake that they made and that is with the co-op and that is the ability not to complete main quests together with your co-op partner. That is right, it is so stupid. When you actually join a person's game the main quest line gets completely locked. So you cannot even apply to go and play those missions. Basically, what you have to do is run around and wreak havoc. And personally, I believe if a game includes cooperative play, it should have a core reason to have co-op play, you know? It makes sense. If you have a person in your game, you want to do something productive. You, I mean, fair dues, you know, running around, fucking around, isn't really good enough uh, for a Fallout game, but for Far Cry, yeah, it works, you know, because you have all of these things to your disposal. But like I said, for a Fallout game, it just would not work for me, and personally, I feel like it would not work for the majority of the Fallout franchise fans. Now, although I do love to mess around with my friends on video games, Fallout's co-op would have to focus on mission completion and making the game more immersive or even making it great for two people to make a great role-playing adventure together. You know, if we had a silent companion again or a silent uh, protagonist, it would actually be awesome if two people 
could, you know, make a YouTube series or something like that, you know, co-op YouTube series with, let's say, the uh, lone survivor and his wife or something like that, you know, I honestly feel like if somebody did that in a Fallout co-op game, that would be huge. Now, there is another slight problem with this, and that is mods. Now, Xbox users have had their first experience of mods, and I have to say, from the majority of the community, from what I can see, most people love it. Now, introducing a Fallout co-op mode would either require the co-op partner to have the same mods installed, which would actually make it very time-consuming and very annoying in online matchmaking. So, if you actually went into the matchmaking and you paired up with a random guy and he had like 15 different mods, you would probably have to wait for those mods to install, such as playing a new map on Gary's mod or something like that, you know? Something similar to that. But, there is also another thing that Bethesda could do, and that is either disable all the user mods, which would just make it completely the base game, all original content, or they could do what I feel would most probably be the best thing ever, and that is taking a leaf from Left 4 Dead. Now, what I mean by this is Left 4 Dead is a really popular game, and it is a great game. It's a, one of those arcade classics, I guess you could call it. Now, one of the best things about Left 4 Dead's co-op mode is, let's say, player one downloads a mod in which replaces the in-game sledgehammer to a Harley Quinn's mallet. Now, let's say player two has a mod in which replaces the sledgehammer with the brute hammer from Halo. Now, both of those mods would work together, so player 1 would still see the Harley Quinn mallet on the floor, whereas player 2 could look at that same mallet, but instead of seeing the mallet or the sledgehammer from the base game, they would see their brute hammer from Halo. And that is how mods work so great in Left 4 Dead. Now, of course, those type of mods are just kind of texture files, and, you know, that's pretty easy, but I do expect if Bethesda do integrate a Fallout co-op game or a cooperative game into Fallout, I guess, um, I do expect them to go down this route. I actually expect them to make it easy for modders to enjoy their game whilst playing co-op with other people. So moving on, personally, I do feel that Fallout should at least at one point include an optional co-op experience, just as maybe a test. Now, if that doesn't work then and people don't like it, then that's fine. You know, Bethesda will learn from that mistake and either never include it again or they can work upon it and make a co-op experience in which everybody can enjoy. But like I said, guys, that is just my opinion. And I would like to know what all of you guys feel about a Fallout co-op experience too. Would you like it? Would you hate it? Or are you kind of split in between? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but yeah, guys, besides from that, I hope you all have an awesome week. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!